Hello. Well, I have uh, two videos for you today. This is the first one. Um, and I'm going to do my best to keep them short. Um, no, no, there's... Well, at least this one will be short, for sure. Um, basically, um, Disney has a, uh, officially... Um, <clears throat> Uh, essentially absorbed uh, Fox. Uh, 21st Century Fox is now owned by Disney. And to clarify, that's just uh, the movies. Uh, Disney doesn't care about the TV shows, like The Simpsons. They don't care about that. They care about the big franchises such as X-Men and Fantastic Four, which are you know, Marvel characters, and uh, they could possibly put those characters in um, with the Avengers, the MCU. Um, Deadpool is in the X-Men, so if you're wondering why I never, I didn't include Deadpool, that's why. It's the, he's in the X-Men franchise. So, um, yeah. They also will now own every Star Wars film. Episode 4, remember, was owned by 20th Century Fox because while George Lucas got all the merchandising rights and got a lot of money for that movie, um, even to this very day, I believe, he still gets money for that movie. Distribution-wise, Fox owned it because they supplied the money, whereas in everything after the original Star Wars and now Episode Four: A New Hope, after that, uh, George Lucas financed uh, the sequels to uh, the original Star Wars as well as the prequels, and so Disney owned... Uh, five of the six films he was involved with. Well, now they own all of them. Uh, and, um, Disney isn't technically a monopoly yet. However, um, with them now taking a huge film studio and every property they own, it's now like, well, they do that now what will they go after next you know it's like it's not good and also there's reports of like 4,000 employees could be um, lose their jobs and then there's even you know that's at the very minimum uh, there's even some that say even 10,000 people at the very most could lose their jobs so within this merger of them acquiring um, Fox, uh, yes, yeah, some people will stay on during the transitional stage, but uh, I don't know. People seem to be, don't be, seem sure if those people will even keep their jobs right after it's com everything is completely transitioned and now they're essentially now smooth sailing from here, you know? Even those people could eventually just get a, get the axe, and they'd have to find work elsewhere. And um, stuff like that is just one of many reasons people didn't want um, Disney to own Fox. A co a competition is a good thing, um, you know. DC with Warner Brothers. Um, has been for the longest time. Uh, but before, you know, yeah, Disney, they own Marvel, so, you know, all the Avengers stuff, and the film is when that series would go. But for Sony, you know, they own Spider-Man. Um, so they have to partner with Sony. You know, it's not just... Um, you know, they can't just... Um, make Spider-Man films, they have to partner with him. Uh, I 
think also the same with Venom. Though it's been said Venom is not part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I don't know. Uh, he's in the Spider-Man universe, and there's a lot of things you could do there. But if they're ever going to have uh, Spider-Man and Venom show up, um, yeah, I don't know. Not much has been said about that film, but, you know, they have to partner with Sony. Um, but, yeah, I mean, and also speaking of shows, you know, the Simpsons movie. Um, uh, I remember, even though they don't own the TV show of the Simpsons, um, and also Disney doesn't want Fox Sports or Fox News or anything like that, uh, those things are worthless to them. Uh, only the film, only the films are what's important to Disney. Do I have any 20th Century Fox movies either uh, nearby? Yeah, here you go. As Fox. That's just, um. Yeah, so this is like, I guess, like Fox distributed this or something, at least a home video. So, I guess any of the other sort of profits or something that they out of the furnace and other Fox properties. There's, um, but yeah, um, but again, with the Simpsons, it seems as if for the Simpsons, um, there's going to be like three Simpsons movies, um, we have one, however, after one, it, uh, I don't know, it doesn't seem like they had an initiative to even attempt to make a sequel. Don't know if that's because of lack of interest or they just thought focus on the TV show. I don't know, but um, if they ever wanted to do a, I don't know, a, a, a movie, another Simpsons movie, deals would have to be made so such a thing could happen since, you know, Matt Groening basically does own the Simpsons. Um, there's a clause in the contract, which is kind of, I don't know, it could get a bit, um, could get a bit detailed with it, but basically, essentially, he owns it, and Fox does it, and there's like, well, they both own it, I don't know, there's something that, maybe it's just in the contract that they're able to allow and make fun of all the Fox and stuff they have, just because. I don't know, there's something there. But, regardless, um, yeah, Simpsons movie, stuff like that. Um, films based off of shows being produced by Fox. If they wanted to make a movie, now it's like it'd be a bit difficult to do. Or, only in the sense of, like, well, they might want to the network and the studio now might uh, be at odds unless something can be done, and uh, it's just it's just not as uh, simple as it might have been before all this. Where we're gonna make a movie based off of this TV show that's produced by Fox. Yeah, well now um, Disney owns the movie st stuff, and all the television stuff is all left alone. I don't know, it's a bit of a pickle. It's complicated. Uh, but yeah, um, a lot of people weren't wanting this. Um, I didn't. I wasn't really for it when, the, when I made my first video hearing this. Um, many reasons, some of them what I've just listed, and there's a lot more. Again, competition is a good thing. Um, it's good for companies to be competing. Fox against Universal, against Warner Brothers, against Disney, against 
Sony against New Line and Paramount and Warner Brothers. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I could go on, but you know what I mean. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, but hey, I don't know if anything positive can come from this. Great. Not totally sure what that would be, but, you know, who knows. Um, just disappointment at the moment is what I'm feeling, so anything positive, I just, I don't know, it's not coming to me right now. Uh, hasn't really been what I thought about this. It's just, oh no. But anyway, uh, that's the video. It's quite short. Um, and it's 11 minutes might not think it's short but for me that's quite short because i often talk quite a lot so you know that's if you're new here but anyway that's uh, all i have to say about that um hope you have a good day hope you have a good weekend and a good week and i'll see you next time